In this episode, I'm releasing the results of round five of Relic Runner. Well, hello, all of you beautiful people out there in Minecraft land. How are you today? I am fantastic. Whoa, fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. My name is Vid and welcome back to another very exciting episode and not just very exciting, but very special episode on the Igniter SMP server. This is a midweek episode, one of those ones that you don't see very often. But I wanted to release this episode uh, basically as a standalone piece because um, it's all Relic Runner. It's just results for Relic Runner and it doesn't really have anything to do with the other content that I'm producing uh, with the ARSC stuff and the, the laboratory stuff and all that other stuff that fits in the other episodes. So I thought I'd uh, hold this out, but it occurred to me that I never gave you guys the final result for who won uh, Relic Runner uh, level one. And uh, I, I need to do that. Um, first, just wanna say Relic Runner is closed, temporarily closed right now. I am gonna be making some huge uh, changes, some upgrades, some uh, nerfs of some cards, some boosts of some cards, things like that. I, uh, after basically playing for weeks and weeks and weeks on end, I've definitely discovered some issues that need to be addressed. So I will be doing that, probably not in this episode, but later. Right now, this episode is going to be all about the winners, who won, and uh, we really need to check that out right now. Let's just find a nice little cube here, and there's the results. Coming in first with five points and over 2,700 coins submitted in round five was Dark John, followed by Cubic Lee with four points, Indie Jones with three points, Neat Freeze coming in with two points, and then Zero and Skunk each getting one point. And then we have the final leaderboard for the end of round five and effectively the end of round one or level one of the actual Relic Runner game. Indie Alien Jones taking the lead with 22 points, followed by Dark John in second place with 20 points, then Kibikly Skunk, Need Freeze, Dippy, Star, Zero, Minion, Solo, and GGJ, uh, rounding out the rest of the leaderboard. But what we need to do right now is find Dark John, our round five winner, because we have a special prize to give him. Mr. VidMC, Mr. Mr. VidMC. Hi, how are you? <laughs> you know, I am well, and I am winning, apparently. Yeah, you actually did phenomenally in round five. Uh, you're one of the few people who are still actually, like, really, really giving it their all uh, in mm -hmm. the game. And uh, and I'm really excited that you have submitted over 2,700 coins. Um, yes. Yeah, m almost 1,000 points more than the person who came in second place uh, in round Whoa. five. And that means, <laughs> yeah, that means, of course, you're going to get another one of these, which is the round winner trophy which is pretty Fantastic. cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Amazing. And uh, not only that, but uh, you can also have one of these, which is great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your, your uh, extra price. And I have one other thing for you as well, which I think yep. is probably like going to be the best thing that you receive in this round. Um, oh. As you may or Ooh. may not know, the uh, rare cards are going to start being released once we open up levels two and three and beyond. And Ooh. I wanted to make sure that you had what I think is probably going to be your favorite card in the whole game. Oh my God. Because oh my you and I have, this is exciting. You and I have, this is and I have talked about this along. It's a brand new card, never mm -hmm. before released. There it is right <gasps> there. What? It's got an indie on it. It's, it's it looks rare. like indie. It does look like indie a little bit, but it's not actually indie. It's just a, it's Surge another adventure. Of power. Quick this draw called, two more cards. Yeah, it's a quick draw card. So that yeah, so awesome. basically, yeah, you stick that in your deck and bang, you just get two cards quick drawn for you. So like they could be treasure cards, oh. they could be other cards. I don't know, it's kind of it's, a cool card. Oh, it's not even a one time use. It's, it's, it's not. This is a full time permanent card. So I don't know, may, maybe you'll find a use for it. Maybe you stick it in your deck. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cards coming up faster is, and we could collect several of these. It will work if we stack. Them Absolutely. Up yeah. Three. You can put uh, you can put three Ooh. cards, three of those in your deck, just like any other card. Now, of course, the, the downside is, you know, if you put three in your deck, they could hypothetically all be drawn at the same time, right? Because then you like you quick draw, and then you'd get the other quick draw card, and it could be one of your quick draw cards. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could quick draw That's again. also fine though, because be then it would just as, well, as long as there's cards to draw. Yeah, then, yeah. It'll I mean, just, it'll burn through your deck. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's exactly what I'm waiting for half the time. Exactly. So that's perfect. Exactly. So oh, there my. you go. That's but good. I guess it could also backfire, right? So if I'm 
if I'm, it could like make all of my um, uh, mad dash or something, right? Mad dashes. That's the ones that if they all go off like yep. before I'm ready for them. That could exactly. also backfire. So it's a it's a bit risky, but it could pay off. Exactly. Interesting. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you find some use in that. Hopefully you enjoy it. And yeah, nice. looking forward to seeing what you could bring to round two or level two, whatever we call it. <laughs> level two, round six. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dark John seems to be very happy with his present, and now I just have one more gift to deliver, and that one is for the winner of round five. There he is right there. I was just about to tell my audience that I had one more uh, prize to deliver, and you just Ooh. arrived perfectly. Perfect timing. So do, yep, do you yep. want to, have you seen this? Have you seen the leaderboard, my friend? I, I have seen the leaderboard, dude. I have. Check it out. Look whose name I is know. right up there at the top. Yes, let's Five go, dude. amazing rounds. Did you know I was actually uh, I was actually doing some math. Uh, you submitted more coins in round one than the next highest competitor submitted in a five rounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, man. Yeah. To be I fair, to be nice. fair, round one was like the wild, wild west. Yeah, so. it was. It was like just play until you can't play anymore, and yeah, you, you yeah. played the heck out of it in round one. So, <laughs> but right. uh, yep. but yeah, like a total like fifteen thousand coins submitted over five rounds, which is pretty wow. good. Wow, <laughs> wow, man. Yes, and so top prize, obviously, uh, and I have uh, I have a quite an interesting prize for you. So uh, okay. we'll start I'm with uh, I'll start with this one. Okay. Which you know, that's the okay, okay. that's the, the least exciting thing. But like, uh -huh. I don't know if you want to if you want to put it down. Maybe then I can give you your next prize. Ooh, okay, okay. That's a good one. That's a good one Bam, too. Right this there, one, dude. I actually really like this. I think this is pretty cool, and I hope you like it too. Uh, I, I think hope it it's a best. pumpkin. I hope. I hope. <laughs> yeah, from this side, it, it's not a pumpkin. I mean, it, it's a pumpkin. But there it is. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> sick. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. The official <gasps> Relic Runner round one winner, or level one winner trophy. Oh all my yours, goodness, my dude. It is all yours. Thank you so much. This is incredible. No problem. I'd like to yeah. thank my mom and my dad <laughs> and um, my taco sponsors. Yeah, tacos. <laughs> I'd like exactly. to thank VidMC. <laughs> Check out the the, uh, the little skull inside as well. It's in oh, yeah, much more that, high man. resolution now than the last one too, so. Oh, whoa, yeah, went, check that out. Yeah, I went out of my way to make sure it looked really, really good for you. <laughs> Beautiful, dude. So yeah. cool. Thank and you so yeah, much. And yeah, if you make the item frame invisible, too, it'll actually pop, like, right down on place. So that it oh, yeah, here, perfect. I want to but... check that out right okay. now. I mean, you can try it. Oh, wait, what? I, I did something wrong. Hold on, hold no, on. You missed, you missed. <laughs> I'm, not as, I'm not as good at, uh, <laughs> at this as I am at Relic Runner, apparently. There we go. <laughs> There, there we is. go. Oh, Perfect. Yeah, man. that's oh. gonna look good in the in the stall. Looks so Let's good. Go. Yeah, you can also put it on your head, you know, just in case you want it to. But hey, that's that. That's oh. an entirely different thing. Oh wait, wait, that's, nope. Now I have to. That's now the first thing to. that, uh, that Dark John did. I gave him a trophy too, and yeah, there it is. Look at that, <laughs> dude. Just this is right my hat there. from now on, man. Yep, <laughs> this is my hat from now on. <laughs> I have at one least more. for a couple days. I have uh -huh. one more thing for you. Yeah. Okay. This this I think is pretty cool. Um. See, I debated like what I was going to give you and I was worried that if I give you a card like a permanent card to play in your deck that you might never play it in your deck because like, I don't know, you've got some pretty good strategies in, in terms of your deck and you run a very minimal deck, right? So, yeah, I yeah. thought, you know what, I'm going to give you something that's a single use card. Yes, but it's uh, I think one of the coolest single use cards and Ooh. Not available anywhere else on the server. It probably will be available once I open levels like two and three and and then beyond. But right now, this is the only one, and here okay. it is. Check Ooh. that out. Wait, hold on. Let me let me put this thing down. Yeah. Oh, we've got. Yeah, oh, there, we've got oh, we the, got a thing right here. Still got the item frame. Yeah. Let's stick it right in there. There it is. Right there. Carrot power. The runner receives two golden carrots at the start of the game. Ooh, that is cool. Huge that power. is beautiful. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, this is staying in my collection, obviously. That's kind of what I figured. You're just gonna put it in your collection so anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. That is so sick. <laughs> yeah, so this is gonna uh, be in the game, though. It will. It will be in the game once oh, uh, once level wow. two opens. But you've got the you've got the first. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to win it. It's you got it. It's right Amazing. there. Amazing. Amazing, yeah. dude. Just pretty cool. 
Yeah, and I've got some so other exciting cool. changes coming to Relic Runner. Um, yeah, I, I am going to make some changes to things like Mad Dash. They're going to get nerfed a little bit. Uh, but I am going to do some boosting of what some of the other cards do as well. Because I don't think they pay enough treasure. Um, so, which, I mean, sounds like a really weird thing. Uh, basically, I mean, this is, this is probably more complicated than your audience or my audience needs to know. But I'm going to reduce the payout odds for each treasure barrel. But the cards are going to be the treasure cards are going to be worth more so yeah so it should ah, it should balance okay. a little bit yeah so okay that, i think that's gonna cool. be pretty cool mm -hmm. cool so it'll it'll be like mad dash isn't like up on its own that's whole, right whole other level so Everything i mean you'll, you'll still get out. a benefit for the mad dash but especially like yeah. as a level one card like having 10 coins like that's a possibly or sorry 10 treasures that's a possible what 300 coins if you have three mad dashes yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, because ten barrels and and you know three mad dashes right. and ten, yeah, it's that's a lot for a level one yeah. card. So I'm gonna reduce it a lot. Um, it probably it's gonna be like worth three treasures, not uh, not ten if you get it. I like it. that. But I yeah, like that exactly. Yep, that so it's it's good. a it's a big nerf, but I think obviously everyone's gonna have that same issue, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sweet dude, dude, I'm. I'm honored. I'm honored, bro. I'm I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked that I won, and I know I've already told you about it a million times, but dude, like, <laughs> this is the this is the coolest thing. Like, this is literally. The, I, I literally I'm, told you yeah. if 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 playing on on, on the Igniter server was literally just coming here and playing Relic, <laughs> playing Runner, Relic I would Runner. still do it. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like, a, it's so it's a good so game. good. Yeah, and it you know is what? So good. I got a uh, I got like a little sneak peek of the level stuff that you've designed for level two yeah. as well, and oh. Oh, it's yeah. it's magic. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited me to get too. the level starting to be built and everything. Oh yeah. Yep. Much yeah, more dude, me too. cool stuff to come. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm so, so yeah. excited. I know. I'm so excited for level two. And and there's gonna be level three and level four. Oh I know. Insane. I know. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Insane. Well anyway, yep. congrats Sweet on uh, winning level one. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs> And since we have now delivered two brand new cards to our two winners for round five, we should probably release those cards officially, right? And that means putting them on this board right here. So I have the two brand new cards in my inventory ready to show off. They are this one right here, the Surge of Power, and this one right here, the Carrot Power. Let's take a look. Let's start with the card that we gave to Dark John. That is this one right here, the Surge of Power. Rare card. Yeah, see, he said it looked like Indy, and I'll agree. It kind of looks like uh, Indy a little bit if Indy was a human, but as we all know, Indy's an alien, so clearly not Indy on the uh, on the card. But it does show a bunch of cards floating around, and yeah, Surge of Power, quick draw two cards. So very, very simple. You have this card in your deck. You can have up to three in your deck, obviously, and what it's going to do is immediately quick draw two cards for you. So within the next, like, five seconds or something, you get a card and then another card right away. So it might be two treasure cards you get, or, you know, you might get, uh, I don't know, a combo hustle card and, uh, and a tranquil treasure card, but I don't know. It could be any two cards uh, from your deck get pulled out. Of course, if there are no more cards in your deck, then uh, you kind of wasted your card, but hey, um, you can have up to three of these, like I said, which basically means you're quick drawing six cards, which is great. And then we have this one right here. The Carrot Power card. Again, rare card. This one is a single-use card, which means when you use it, it uh, disappears from your deck. But it's also an instant play card, which basically means that as soon as you pop it in your uh, deck, or as soon as it, uh, as soon as the deck gets processed, this card gets processed immediately. So uh, what that means is that when you start the game, the runner receives two golden carrots at the start of the game. When you enter the dungeon, uh, along with your compass, you will receive two golden carrots. They'll be sitting there waiting for you, which I think is pretty cool. Just like all of the cards that have been released in the game, these cards will change the game, add some new dynamics, and keep the game interesting, fresh, and uh, should make for unique experiences every single time. But that, my friends, is where I am going to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, I would highly appreciate it if you click the like button. If you made it this far, you can also leave me a comment that says, uh, I, I made it to the end. 
or something like that. Uh, like the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe as well so you never miss an episode. If you want to check out all of the other Igniter members, check out Dark John, check out Indy, check out all of the other people who have been playing Relic Runner. Their links are all in the description down below. And if you want to see more great content from me, you can check out the playlist that's linked on the screen right now. That is all of my Season 3 episodes. And below that is the video that YouTube thinks you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode!